Question. About this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. It's a great question. Yeah, he's <laughs> envisioning ghosts. <laughs> uh, you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> <sighs> You'll see once we get there. <laughs> okay. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Ah, okay. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. All right. You're still here. Yeah, man. See you later. Okay. Oof. What the? The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they looked so happy together. But it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Yeah, I don't want that. Cannot interact with her right now. Why don't you try calling someone? All you have to do is think about them. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on the far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about? I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? <laughs> That's nice. Alright, not time to leave yet. That's fine. Just a sec more. He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. 
I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> w what I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? What, me? With Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough. Not even close. Oh, sorry. My mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. <laughs> yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. Oof. You never know what you got until it's gone. And as you get older in life, you'll start to just understand that. Why don't you try calling someone? All you have to do is think about them. Uh, I don't know. Over here, maybe? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, here we go. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember when I was only seven years old in Bevel that day. My father had defeated Sin. And the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? That... I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jack. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry, he won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. <laughs> See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Oh. Uh, uh, Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. <sighs> but... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm. It's okay. Uh, I think I just... figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See, so, so I, I told, told him what, what I thought, thought of him right, right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, Poor the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, just a, sec, a sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. He'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. 
Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. Oh. Lord Jisco! Oh, Lord Jisco! Oh. He does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> mm. What was that just now? That really Lord Disco? I don't understand how a man like Lord Jiskel can die and not be sent. I would think that he was sent once, but he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. Hmm. Man, we had a whole lot just happen there. First of all, when Titus was having his flashback, Oren was really seemingly worried about it, his mom. I, d I haven't noticed that before. Please refrain from speaking of Lord Jiskel. We must avoid unseemly rumors for the sake of Spirit's harmony. I know I need to go back to the far plane before we leave. I will go meet with Maester Seymour. Yuna! Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Um. What? So, Lulu, what do you think about Yuna getting married? As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? People marry for many reasons. What's that mean? Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? Oof. Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. All you need? is determination. <laughs> if you have that, you don't need love. Jeez. I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Don't take relationship advice from Lulu. Uh... I think we can go back up now. There's a part of a key weapon back up here we need to go get. Maybe we hang out with Jisco for a little while. Well, I thought that the chest was up here, but... Thanks to the summoners sending the fallen ones to the far plane, we are able to reunite with our son, who was killed in battle. Words cannot express how grateful we are. Is that the kid? Is that the kid with the red hat that I've seen like a bunch of times? That might be. I even I even edited the video so we could see him better. Ah, our son was killed in Operation Meehan. We begged him not to go, but gosh. All right, well, 
Maybe I'm missing it. I'll be able to get back to it later. If I am. It's not so... Oh! Oh, lightning marbles. Okay. Well, let's see. As soon as Yuna returns, I trust you'll be ready. I'm always ready, man. Yep. Listen, if Yuna gets married, then I... What? That again? Yes. If she is to marry, I would want her to marry for love. See? But if Yuna said she wanted to marry the one she loves, I would have to object. Huh? Uh, you're not making much sense. I know. <laughs> kind of thick, Titus. Um... Lulu? I've talked enough about that. What? I'm sorry, just forget about it. Jeez, grumpy. You'll understand one of these days. I just don't want to give it words, not yet. I shouldn't have to say this, but don't fall in love with her. Oh, man. Okay, too late, or you're more my type, Lulu. <laughs> we'll go... We'll go full... Full lovers here. I see. But... You must keep your feelings inside until the pilgrimage is over. Hmm. We leave as soon as you know. For a while there, I was a little worried about what was going to happen, yeah? Huh? Yeah. I'm a little worried about Lord Jiskal. I wonder if Maester Seymour has heard. That is concerning. Is there somebody else? I mean, do I got to go in? No. Oh, I've been in here. This is where I... Yeah, I robbed him blind already. We're good. Yeah, we gotta do something, obviously. Oh. When we leave here, we have to go through the Thunder Plains next, you know? I can't stand thunder. <laughs> when I was an air traffic controller, I worked with a guy. So we were up in a tower, um... And a radar facility, but the story is mostly relating to the tower. And uh, so we were about 15 stories above the ground, just completely surrounded by, you know, it, it seems like glass, but it's thicker than glass. It's stronger than glass, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, we're, we're completely exposed to, like, the light and all that sort of stuff around us. And we would get thunderstorms rolling through. And uh, we had a guy, big, big manly guy, I don't know, probably... 6'2", 250, kind of a weightlifty type guy <laughs> who was just terrified to be in the tower during a thunderstorm. <laughs> he just, he could not do it. Uh, and, you know, it was pretty, I don't want to say scary. It was pretty intense being up there with, with the wind howling and lightning striking. Like, lightning will strike the tower. I mean, you're 15 stories off the ground, you know, completely surrounded by an airport. The tower gets struck. And, uh, yeah, that guy just did not ever want to be up there. And uh, I always liked it, personally. I, I like a good storm. I find my, that I am very uh, productive when there is precipitation. Be it rain or fog, snow, you know, whatever the case is. I just... I just get a lot more done. And maybe it's that I don't daydream about being outside, but I don't feel like I daydream about being outside most of the time, so I, d I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Where is that? Yeah, maybe I have to talk to the guy first or something. I don't know. We will see. We, Guado, help the warrior monks patrol the roads beyond. Why wouldn't we do all we can for the good of Spira? Just kind of continuing to explore here, trying to remember how to advance the story. <laughs> oh, 
Hmm? Guado potions good. Buy some before leaving. Hmm? Okay. I mean, it's it's the same, right? Yeah, it's the same. Is there anything else I wanted to get from him? I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Ripping off the pilgrims that come to visit the fire plane. Listen, you watch that they don't get you too. Me, you can trust. More than a Guado, at least. What do you say? Ugh. Uh, yeah, that death touch is interesting. I mean, I've got the money for it, but... Shimmering blade for Orin. Eh, piercing an initiative, that's good enough. Do I need the death touch? need to do head back down to the thunder plains maybe my was the lady summoner not with you no she's at Seymour's place that's Maester Seymour or Lord Seymour oh I'll be careful sorry <laughs> that's all right oh Maester Seymour left Guado Salam a short while ago you serious I believe he went to the temple in Makalania. Maester Seymour is also the high priest of that temple. Whoa! I gotta tell the others! Oh, jeez. So Seymour just left? Presumably with Yuna? Lord Jisco, please tell me. What can I do to help? Yuna, let's go! Hmm. They say Seymour went to Makarena Temple. <laughs> Makalania Temple. <laughs> I? What I don't get is, <laughs> why would the Lord Maester head off without a peep to anyone? Oh. Maybe he wasn't expecting Yuna's answer so soon. Ah, that's probably it. <laughs> Yuna, what is it? Oh, nothing. Hmm. You're a poor liar. It's true, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Gotta trust your guardians. Gotta trust your guardians. Lord Seymour awaits at Makalania Temple. Please make haste. Okay, we're getting just random slowdowns. All right, we're gonna go back and check one more time at the far plane. There it is. Venus Crest, finally. Been a while, sis. It's been seven years, but you still look the same. Jeez, I'm older than you now. Oh, I guess it makes sense. Hey, I... I brought you something. Check this out. Uh, uh, there we are. See? She looks just like you. Her name's Yuna. Boy, was I surprised first time I saw her. Uh, of course she's not as good as you. If you were still alive, I bet you'd fight just like her. 
It's okay. Yuna will beat Sin for you. I know it. So don't you worry. Okay, sis. See ya. Oh. No one there? She's not appearing. Who is it? None of your business. Sorry. <sighs> no, it's not your fault. Why aren't you here? Who she's looking for? I need to be alone right now. Hmm. Alright, Lulu's looking for somebody she thinks has passed away, but isn't in the far plane. Not sure who that little boy was just talking to. He was talking about Yuna a bit there. And we got one of the crests, which is good. It's important for our progress. Now, we'll go in here and drop a save. Probably wrap this one up for a minute and then head out into the Thunder Plains, I think. By golly. Lots and lots of important story stuff happening in this one. Uh, so, man, I'm, I'm excited to be back into this. I hope you're enjoying as well. Thanks for watching.